We got the first vehicle, the beef injection. Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real We also have the stallion. What the fuck? I'm so lucky I found this because it's actually a pretty difficult vehicle to find. It's the only uh, car on the list that doesn't have a specific uh, spawn location. And I actually do have one saved that Staunton, but. I just came across it and said it would save me some time. Playing all the best music on the Lips 106 Express. Three more. So one more, and just a sentinel. Okay, I got a sentinel, and this should be the last vehicle. So, it's gonna be just like the other garage. Now we can take any vehicle we want. Which is awesome. So let's get the beef injection. Go outside and wait for a vehicle. And boom! Look at that. It's pretty cool. All the way live from the bridge, nature, big stretch. Just spot it. Exactly, but was hit the nail on the head that time. My kid, I'm telling you, shut the schools down, make the kids work. That broke stuff off for sisters anyway.
and, and doctors and politicians, lawyers and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old girl chimney sweep paralegal photocopier because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard. So we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big, we lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu Monstrosity, mine's bigger. Would you like a giraffe? I'll have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll see you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I just wanted to say something about the internet, you know, the information from the highway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know... Chatterbox, what's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I never get through. This is amazing. You do a great show, man. <laughs> Thanks. What's, uh, what, what, what's up? Oh, man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. <laughs> and exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay. Right now, I live at home. But pretty soon, like, next week, dude, I'm moving out. Up here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door.
All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, dojo and organic food market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore the mind and your digestive system lack of what you put in often comes back. Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Black low, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict...